climb aboard. Friday football focus is in high gear. Tonight, Bishop Diego looks to put the pedal to the metal and speed past Cabrillo. Paso Robles has been running over teams. Now the Bearcats tangle with St. Joe's. And Ventura takes a road trip to Saugus with the Cougars' perfect record make the return trip. When it comes to high school football, Friday Football Focus is the undisputed champion. Hi, my name is Francisco Chia Santana, your welterweight center gold boxing champion. And Friday Football Focus is going to be a knockout. Now, from the bleachers to the end zones, gridirons up and down the coast. Mike Klan, Joey Butita, and the largest sports team on local television. Live Friday Football Focus. What is up, everybody? From Paso Robles to Saugus, we have highlights from 17 games tonight here on Friday Football Focus. I'm Joe Butita for Tease. This is Mike Klan. Yeah, you know, that's 200 miles of coverage, but we're going to start in Santa Barbara. The 3 0 Bishop Diego Cardinals coming off two quality wins, now hosting 2 1 Cabrillo, a team that defeated those Pueblos a few weeks back. Opening drive for Cabrillo, look at that, they get a little break off the deflection, Jordan Trimble with the catch, but then it's Boy Wonder, the freshman. Wow, John Harris, the sack, so Bishop takes over third and one, Abel Gonzalez, he's got the first down, he's got the touchdown, 70 yards for the senior, and over 120 yards rushing, two TDs. Quite a leader for the Cardinals. Seven nothing after one. Look who's at the game. Former UCLA head basketball coach Ben Allen. You know he's a defensive-minded guy, so you know he likes this. He's rooting for Bishop, but how about that defense? Whoa! DeAndre Salcida, Lanty, Danny Molina. Molina was fine. How about this? Spencer Stovesand couldn't have placed it any better to Alexis Herrera, but you know what? He didn't stay down for long. A few plays later. That's that same guy, Alexis Herrera, the interception. It's not a fumble. They roll him down. He's inside the five. Remember Danny Molina? He got popped. Well, he's okay. He's in the end zone. 14 nothing, Bishop. And for the last few years, the Cardinals defense has scored a lot of points, and they do it again. Jacob Bronson, the hit. A.V. Bennett, the scoop and score. 50 yards, and it's 21 nothing, Bishop. Cabrillo, no quitting them. On the wheel play just before the half, Gregory to Zach Morrison. Three seconds to go in the half. Cabrillo wants to put some points on the board, and they can't get it done. Bird is the word. The Cardinals now 4-0. They win 35-7. They're off next week for 2-2 two two Cabrillo. They host Temple 10. Well, if you peeked at this week's CIF Northwest Division rankings, which I did, you would have found a Pomo number one. Who would have thought, right? They've already racked up 120 points in just three games. Friday Football Focus reporter Dave Valley was at tonight's game as Napomo hosted Santa Inez. It was a big game, and he's live at the stadium right now. Dave, how is it? Yeah, hey guys, uh, boy, these Napomo Titans, they are looking pretty strong so far this season. You know, they wrapped up a three-game homestand tonight with a little bit of history going in, as you did mention. They're ranked number one this week in the CIF uh, Northwest Division. Now that number one ranking this week, first ever for the uh, the school in the 12-year history here of the Napomo Titans. Uh, but the question going in now, how would they respond? Because, you know, sometimes it's a little easier to, to get to number one than it is to stay there. Russ Edwards and his players would come out on fire in this one, building a 34-0 lead midway through the second quarter. More Titan offense, Matt Albright to Nick Kimball. He cuts upfield, loses his balance, puts a hand down, then zigzags his way to his left and into the end zone. Flags would come out. They would be on San Inez. The play stands a 69-yard touchdown for the Pomo. That put him on top, 40-0. Part of a huge night for Albright. Next possession, little screen pass to Harrison Lavastida. That goes for a Titan first down as he spins his way for some good yardage into Pirate D. Couple plays later, it's Albright again showing his elusiveness as he dances in the pocket. Somehow gets away from the Pirate defense. Going to find Labastida again on the sideline. This one going to go inside the 10-yard line. That would set up this just moments later. Albright again out of the shotgun. Flushed out of the pocket, moving to his right. Going to find Kimball up top. Another Titan touchdown. 245 yards in one hat for Albright. Six touchdowns. He was done after two quarters. 47-0 was your score at the half. Moved to the second half. Albright out of the game, but the Titans not done scoring on the handoff. It's Antonio Navarro finding a seam and then going right through the Pirate D untouched. That one 
covering 32 yards. Napomo back into the end zone. That caps the scoring as Napomo looks every bit like a number one ranked team as they go on and blow out San Inez in shutout. Also, another big win for Napomo. They improved to 3-1 and one on the season. You know, they've uh, scored up uh, 175 points in those four games. That's about a 44-point average. So the offense rolling, defense looking pretty good. Uh, next week, tough test. So they go north of the grade. They're going to face a Tascadero. First ever meeting between those teams. Should be an interesting ball game. Tascadero, by the way, lost to powerful uh, San Clemente tonight for their first loss. As for the Pirates, well, they'll try and lick their wounds, and uh, they'll try, uh, try their uh, luck next week. They're going to be back at home as they're going to host Fillmore. That's going to do it here. Here from Napomo, Dave Alley reporting live in Napomo. We're going to send it back to you guys. All right, Dave, thank you very much. Well, you had to figure that Pioneer Valley's game at Arroyo Grande tonight would see some points. AG has already put up over 60 in their contest while uh, visiting, in one of their contests, while visiting the Panthers. Uh, they hung 53 on San Luis Obispo two weeks ago as well. So AG looking to make it three straight wins, and they have a tough defense. We're going to pick this one up first half. Uh, the Valley, there we go, Andrew Prado, he's going to carry it. Down in there for uh, no yards, though. Great uh, tackle for loss made there by Thomas Fuentes. First possession now for uh, AG as they have it. Their quarterback is Sawyer May. He connects to Sam Coleman. That's good for a first down. A few plays later, AG's, their drive's going to stall. So 25-yard field goal. Why not? Why not? Right through the uprights. That's good there. Cedric Pullins, the kicker. Great kick and points on the board. Later in the drive, same combo again. Rodriguez to Pullen. Nice yardage there inside AG territory, but the Panthers would miss the field goal. So uh, AG, now, here they come. They, they still got the ball. It's actually Pioneer Valley. They got it right down there to the 30. And the uh, coach for uh, Arroyo Grande, Tom Gosen, he's uh, the Eagles battling here up 3-0 after the first quarter. Move to the second now, AG with the ball. May finds Joel Bishop for the completion. But uh, Pioneer Valley there again. Pulling, also getting it done on defense. Forces the fumble. Roman Garcia recovers it. Panthers with a big turnover. Panthers would capitalize here on the turnover. And immediately uh, after that, they'd be have to punt it back. So AG responds. This guy's got a great, great name, Joey De La Rosa. There we go, 69 yards up Big. the middle for the touchdown. Uh, good stuff there. AG in this one, it's all AG. 31-7 the final score. Eagles hosting Liberty of Bakersfield next week. That's a road trip for Bakersfield. Pioneer Valley is going to be at Santa Maria. September 3rd, 2010. That was the last time that the Lompoc Braves lost a regular season home game. Yeah, they like that home cooking. Of course, the Braves don't lose many games, period. Lompoc hosting. Morrill Bay early on. The Braves bringing down Maxwell's hammer. Corey Maxwell, the interception. And the Braves take over from there. Late first quarter, Derek Porter. Derek Portis. He's wearing 88 tonight, his jersey ripped. He's inside the five yard line. Yes, early second quarter. Same drive, it's Torrey Sims. He's got his own fan club, why not? He's off to a great start this year. Seven nothing Braves. Derek Portis. Uh, Mr. Portis, I don't care if you wear number 26 or 88, he's good in any jersey. Look at those moves. He's got himself a touchdown before he's brought down. 14-0, courtesy of Mr. Portis, Torrey Sims. Right up the gut. Number five's got himself six, and it's 21-0 Braves. They're going to win it by the score of 42-14 or 4-0 next week, Lompoc. Hostos Pueblos, that's a Thursday's game. Morro Bay home to San Luis Obispo. Well, it was ugly, but it was a win. Santa Barbara escaping last week. Channel Islands with a victory uh, to the Dons, heading right back down to Oxnard again, this time to face Rio Mesa. Spartans wearing some sweet black uniforms this week. Helmets as well. They look new to me. I haven't seen those before. We could Great use stuff. one of those helmets on I the know. desk. We're going to have to get one. Uh, this one, a barn burner at the half, tied at zero. Santa Barbara driving in the third quarter, though. Junior Garcia took that handoff. Gets a nice gainer there inside the 15. Then it's Brent Payas. He's going to roll out and find the end zone. That's a touchdown for the Somebody Dons. Somebody scored a touchdown? Somebody scored a touchdown this game. Uh, the extra point would be up and good. I normally don't show you extra points, but you'll find out why when you're seeing this one later. Or uh, it would prove to be huge. Yes, 7 nothing Santa Barbara. Later in the quarter, Rio trying to get anything going offensively. Cameron Rout at quarterback finds a wide open Josiah King. King takes it nearly 80 yards for the score. Great yak on this play. Also, the cameraman nearly gets run over because the uh, Real Mesa players are so excited they scored. 
great fan support as well. This place was packed, and uh, this is why that Santa Barbara extra point was so handy. Rio has it blocked. The Dons win 7-6. to six. They missed the extra point. It would have been a tie game. Dons hosting my alma mater next week. Royal Rio Mesa at Calabasas next Friday. All right. The San Marcos Royals have not won a ton of games over the last several years, but they have had success against Wyneme. In fact, the Royals trying to beat the Vikings for a fifth straight year. Wyneme was off last week, so they had two weeks to prepare for San Marcos. This is not what they had in mind when they were preparing. <laughs> Opening kickoff, Henry Cortez takes the ball up in good shape for San Marcos. They start off inside Wyneme territory. Sage Reed. Tossing the ball to Andres Martinez. That works for first down. And, you know, the guy who brought up the, the ball, Cortez. Look at that. Juke. Sweet. Breaks a tackle. End zone. San Marcos up early. 7 0. Wine Emi's Cody Smith. No one open, so he just tucks it away. And Cody Smith upfield for about 20 yards there. And how about this? Smith going to buy a lot of time right here. Anthony Lineball, San Marcos, said, hey, wyneme has got some athletes. They sure do. Elijah Ward takes the pass, and he's going to rumble down Ooh. the sideline, take a big hit. We're in the second quarter now. Same drive, Derek Boulware. Oh. Nice move. There's play, some good hitting the, out play there. Play the Matador there with the Boulware. And Wyneme, you know? I like that. And he's wearing red, too. Michael Sotson gets the ball to the one-yard line. Hey, nice catch, Michael. And then it's Smith. No ordinary Smith, is he? 7-7. Seven, seven. You know, that was a long drive, and San Marcos says, you know, we like to score quick. Yeah, Sage Reed to Deshaun Vines. What time is it? It's Vine time. San Marcos breaks into the wind calm. Final score, 28-10 Royals. Continue their Oxnard tour next Friday with a third straight trip there. This time they'll get Channel Islands. Vikings are at Rosamond next Friday. Hey, when we come back, the black cat attack of Newbury Park pounces into Goleta, Dos Pueblos. Not bad. We're going to see if the Chargers could pull out a uh, upset victory. Plus, Rigetti is home to Santa Maria. Stay with us. Much more Friday Football Focus when we come back.